The Philadelphia Eagles will close out the NFC East and our draft reactions for this season. Um, the Eagles, you know, 4-11-1 last year. They fired Doug Peterson, and they go back to the well. They go and grab Nick Sirianni, who was the offensive coordinator for Frank Reich for the last three years at Indianapolis. Uh, you know, I guess if you had something that worked before, why not go back and, and try the same thing all over again? I, sure, why not? You know, you won a Super Bowl with Frank Reich as your offensive coordinator. Well, just bring in Frank's offensive coordinator when he was a head coach, and maybe it'll work out. Who knows? Yeah. Um, they had a lot of needs. You know, I, I, I'm guessing, you know, quarterback probably a need. They didn't do anything with that, but okay, you know, whatever. Cornerback, wide receiver, tight end, and linebacker were the needs that uh, basically the masses uh, said that they would need. And here's what they did. First round, they go and get Devontae Smith out of Alabama. I think it's a pretty good pick. Elite wide receiver. Yep. He's kind of on the small side, but today's game, a lot different than it used to be. You can weigh 166 mm -hmm. pounds and still be an impact guy. Uh, interior offensive lineman Landon Dickerson. He played center at Alabama, but he's also a guard, uh, so you can kind of move him around wherever you need him to be. Uh, they got him mm -hmm. in the second round. Defensive lineman Milton Williams out of uh, Louisiana Tech. This kid's a stud. They got him in the third round. Uh, not a lot of people going to know his name, but he can play. He can absolutely ball. Cornerback Zach McPherson out of Texas Tech. Not sure about that one, but I mean, if you see the you see something with him that you like, okay, that's cool. I, I don't, I, I didn't see him make a bunch of plays last year, but uh, either way, it could have just been the team he was on. Kenneth Gainwell, yeah. running back out of Memphis that they got in the fifth round, he was a redshirt freshman and absolutely lit college football on fire. He was the superstar of the team when Memphis went 13-1 and two years ago, sat out this past year due to COVID concerns, um, and and now, of course, he goes fifth round. I think the Eagles got a stud here. I mean, I, I've this said is, the term. This is, this is the definition of why you don't spend first-round assets on running Exactly. Backs. Because yes. guys like this are in the fifth round Lightning all bolt. the time. Lightning all the time. bolt. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Marlon tui Piloti. Uh, excuse me, Tui. <laughs> Pretty Pilotu, close, I think. Uh, at a USC. Uh, defensive lineman there. Uh, they got him in the sixth. This is where you start taking flyers on guys. Edge rusher Taron Jackson out of Coastal Carolina. I think this kid's awesome. Perfect guy to take a, a stab at. I think he's awesome. I think he's absolutely – I mean, he made that Coastal Carolina defense last year. Uh, sixth round, Jacoby Stevens out of LSU. Um, I think he fell to the sixth round basically due to the scheme that LSU had last year. Uh, because I think a year prior, I mean, Jacoby Stevens played great in 2019. Yeah, I was just about to say, yeah, 2019, that 2019 special team, he was unbelievable. Yes, yes, and, he was. Last year, they, they just, they did him no justice. No, they did not. Uh, and then, of course, they got edge rusher Patrick Johnson out of Tulane in the seventh round. Um, the Eagles look like, you know, with this draft, they, they look like they're competent. Right now, and and I don't know that they've always looked like that uh, in the past couple of years, but this year, I mean, they they got some dudes, and and they are taking mm -hmm. some chances on some guys that can really hit. There's some boomer bust guys in here, but I, I'm a fan. I like it. Yeah, me too. And look, if, if you go off what the Eagles looked like the past two years, it's they looked like Doug Peterson, which means they look like divorce. That's what Doug Peterson looks like <laughs> is divorce. He just looks like divorce and whiskey right there. That's him. Uh, but I love this draft for the Eagles. I love Devontae Smith. Now, I know he's a little undersized, but when I – the limited college football I watched last year and they were Alabama games, this looked like varsity versus the freshman team. This guy gets open. He kind of reminds me of when the year that Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, and Big Ben were just going off in Pittsburgh, and Antonio Brown was absolutely unstoppable. He reminds me of that version of Antonio Brown without the behavioral issues. I love Devontae Smith. The Eagles have absolutely needed to get a sure fire wide. You couldn't come out here again and take some no-namer like a Jalen Rager over a Justin Jefferson again. You cannot make that mistake again. I think they nailed it with this pick in Devontae Smith. I absolutely love it. Dickerson in the second round, if this kid hadn't hurt his ACL, he probably would have been a first-round pick. So I really like that. They need offensive line help. Try to keep Miles Sanders healthy, of course. It looks like you're going all in with Jalen Hurts because you don't want to have to bring in Joe Flacco, who just went there to be the backup. <laughs> uh, nobody wants to see that. So I like what the Eagles did. Uh, I thought it was a good draft. Uh, finally, Howie Roseman and company did a good job here. Uh, Devontae Smith, just really, I love that kid. He's one of my favorite players to watch. I just, I don't care what his size is. I think he has a real shot to be rookie of the year. Like the Eagles draft, uh, I thought they did a good job. And look, the NFC East is wide open next year. The, uh, none of these teams are great teams, 
but they all have a chance. You know, it's going to be another nine and eight, ten and seven uh, type winner in this division. And the Eagles, if Jalen Hurts can stay upright and that secondary can stop people, might have a chance. Hey, by the way, uh, Roseman and that bunch, uh, on top of the draft, they're undrafted guys that they brought in pretty good as well. They got Trevon Grimes out of Florida. Uh, that kid's a playmaker. And they brought in Jamie Newman who was the quarterback that transferred to Georgia. He was at Wake Forest, and everybody kind of slotted him in. He was like a, a top-five PFF guy at coming back to college and opted mm. out for COVID concerns and whatnot, and everybody thought he was going to be first or second-round guy. He opts out. He doesn't even get drafted, and they, they brought him in, gave him a shot. I I mean, I'm a fan. Mm, I like it. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely spent a, uh, a, a waiver – substantial amount of my waiver fab in my dynasty league on picking up Jamie Newman. I, I just, I want, I want a guy that I think is a good quarterback playing behind a guy that I don't think is a good quarterback. So sure. neither here nor there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like what they did. I absolutely like what they did. I think they're a quarterback away from being really good. I think Jalen mm-hmm. hurts is a great guy. It, it's, it sucks that we live in a world. We got to put this caveat in there. Cause you can't talk shit about a guy's ability because it mm-hmm. makes you think that, Oh, well, if he's such a nice guy, you're an asshole for thinking he's not great at football. Mm-hmm. Told you the pussification of America. It's yep. absolutely. I, I, I think he's a great guy. I think this year he's going to struggle really badly. Killish. I think the NFL got to watch him play football for a year. When we get tape on guys, when the league gets tape on guys that are very limited in what they're able to do, it, it, it's almost like clockwork that those dudes get shut down and they get shut down bad. Yeah. I tend to agree. I got, I love Jalen Hurts. You know, I do, but, uh, yeah, Chris, I've told you on our show for years that he is not an NFL quarterback. He's, like, he's not an not. NFL quarterback. He's a crazy, yeah. stupid athlete, but he is not an NFL quarterback. Yeah. He can run. He can show run, but he, he can't throw. So, so that uh that wraps up our draft coverage for this year. Uh, Kyle, this has been a hell of a lot of fun. A hell of a lot of fun. I've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed the hell out of this. I've been waiting to this. Home, man. I love you guys, and I love being on. So anytime I will be on, you guys just send me the word, and I'll be here. I love work, sure. and you guys do a great job. Make sure, if you're watching on my channel, too, go to sbrpicks.com forward slash NCAAF. F- Yep. Right? Yep. I always get that shit wrong. I always get it wrong. <laughs> but uh, I love these guys, and they know what they talk about in college football. They're, they're the only place I go to if I'm betting college. These are who I go to right That here. is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Gentlemen, is there anything else that we need to hit on today? That's it, brother. That is it. Well, let's, uh, let's it. wind this thing down then. All right, you guys go to winningcureseverything.com. Go to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF slash NFL slash MLB and Head over to the DFS Bachelor YouTube page. Make sure you check that out. And, of course, you can always follow Kyle on Twitter at DFS Bachelor. You can follow myself and Chris. We don't say this enough, but at Chris B. Giannini and at Gary WCE. Very easy to do. We would love to hear from you. Jump in the comments. We want to hear what you think about this. We've had a lot of people that are commenting and telling us that we're dead wrong. Tell us how we're dead mm-hmm. wrong. I'd love to hear it. That's I'd it. love to hear it. So, you guys yeah. have been fantastic for tuning in. Kyle, Chris, thanks for the time. And uh, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and and hopefully all of your tickets cash this week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.